As we learn new information about the actual crime itself, we want to make sure the focus does not leave the victims and the five families whose lives are forever changed. Before I get started, I would like to offer our condolences to the four other families who whose lives were forever changed yesterday by this tragic event. Tim Williams bravely remembers his sister-in-law as a woman of faith. And it was a wife to my brother, a mother to seven children, a daughter, a sister, and family to everyone she knew. Anna Pignon Williams started working at SunTrust Bank two weeks ago. She instantly fell in love with her coworkers. We know that she did not die in that bank. We know that she's alive today with her savior. Her husband said goodbye 16 minutes before the shooter walked into the bank. He didn't think it would be the last time he ever saw his bride and the mother of his children. We are determined to let Anna's memory be marked by the life she lived, the people she loved, and the difference she made. The family now turning to their faith in God to help them cope with the sudden loss and give them the strength they need during this horribly difficult time. We do not know what was going on in the mind of the individual who committed this atrocious act. But we do know he was influenced by the darkness in this world. Cynthia Watson was a customer of the SunTrust Bank. She was inside at the time of the shooting. Her husband said they had just gotten married 23 days earlier. He remembers her as a woman who never stopped and took care of everyone. Marisol Lopez was an employee at SunTrust Bank. She, along with two other women whose families did not want them identified, also died in the shooting.